Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're talking about Roblox dating, as you can already see on my screen here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Roblox wants to be a dating app. Roblox really wants to move beyond being an app for kids. And that includes making it a place where adults can actually meet and date. Stop! What? Tell me that you think this is a good idea. Tell me. Do we not know about all the videos out there on how many of the Roblox people we see go after the children? How many Roblox degenerates we've seen? Do you think that Roblox is the place where adults should meet and date? Or do we think we should, you know, create an adult app where there won't be kids? Because what's going to happen, right? What's going to happen is you're going to have kids going on there. Because it's supposed to be for 17 plus, right? Kids are just going to say they're not 17. I mean, kids are just going to go on there and just pretend to be 17 and or older, 19, 20, 21. In order, because think about it. If there are kids that are 16, 15 year old that do want to date, but they love Roblox, how are they going to go about it? Oh, they're probably going to get on the app and lie. Yep. And then guess what they're going to get? They're going to get 40 year old women, 40 year old men, 30 year old men, 30 year old women who are going to be like, hey, I, oh, I see you're 19. And then guess what the excuse will be? Right. Uh, unless the kid really comes out and says, I'm this age, people will be like, well, the app set 17 plus. So that I mean, what am I supposed to do? There's already weird people on there that don't even care about the rules. There are already rooms for this kind of um, there are rooms for what can you say? Intimacy, for lack of better words, where you can go into a room on Roblox and you can do stuff that wouldn't be normally uh, safe for work. And they do this even with kids in the room. Right. I don't think Roblox is really trying to uh, make any sense of this. Uh, once again, this is just a way to get more people on the app, more weirdos on the app and just get more people. Um, to um, fall into the Roblox trap, it is a wild idea, but Roblox is now in place where the prediction could feasibly come true. The company recently added experiences that can only be played by users who have verified they are 17 and older meaning that people hanging out in those exclusive experiences can be relatively make sure we're good there making sure they're relatively that they're spending their time with people who are old enough to be there next year roblox is planning to release an ai power tool i want y'all to see this part that would let you make an avatar with an image and text prompt which could help you make a more realistic version of yourself in roblox <laughs> how are you supposed to make a real life How are you supposed to make a real realistic version of yourself in Roblox? Have you seen what Roblox look like? If, you, if you've never seen a Roblox in your life, let me just go ahead and give it to you. Let me show you what a Roblox looks like. Okay. <laughs> this. That right there, that's going to make you a real life, a real realistic version of yourself. This right here. And first of all, let me be honest with you. When people put this stuff on a Roblox, or you think they're going to make themselves look realistic? You think that if I was doing Roblox, I was going to make myself fat and short? No! I'm going to make myself look decent. Because, listen guys, back in the day, if you've ever heard of a video game app called Party in My Dorm. In fact, I'll pull that up for you too. There's an app called Party in My Dorm that came out when I, I think 2010. It has the same concept. And a lot of people would date on there, right? This is this is the app, Party in My Dorm. And so people would get avatars that look like this, right? And people would date. Do you think any of these avatars look like the vast majority of people? Congratulations, Trey, you screwed that up. You think a vast majority of people look like this, right? No, right? This guy looks pretty snazzy with that tie on the back. I ain't gonna lie to you. But do you think people look like this? No, there's so many people who are dating in Roblox. In fact, I mean Roblox, so <laughs> many people are dating in this game. And when I was younger, I played this game back in like 2010. There would be, a, you know, people get on WhatsApp and you go see what they look like. Mm -mm. They don't look anything like these avatars. So what do they think is going to happen? This is the same thing we see in VR. A lot of people date in VR chat, right? I've seen it. They do stuff with each other. It's weird, right? But they know they don't look like that in real life. You can be whoever you want to be in VR. 
I don't know, man. I just think when we cross the line, first of all, with a video, with an app that's mainly made for kids, I think that's a dangerous precedent. And second thing is, the more we keep trying to push this concept of dating in virtual reality or some game, it only makes more people lonely. Because the more you get into a character you really don't know, can't see, can't Skype with, can't anything, it only makes you feel more lonely. And the chances of somebody being monogamous with somebody in a video game is not going to happen because it doesn't matter. They know you're not going to see each other, so they're going to talk to whoever and then ever. They'll text you back and then text another guy and text another guy and text another guy. Men will do the same thing. They're going to feel like they're the hot stuff because they're talking to five different girls. It's just weird. Of course, there's going to be some people who may get married. I'm sure it always happens. Like, And there was one couple out of the 18 million people, there was one couple that got married and had kids. But it's like, dude, why do we keep creating more and more events that allow us to get further and further apart? I think, let me get a drink of water right quick. Let me give you a little ASMR. <clears throat> All right, so I think that there we need to get to the point where we are trying to create more social events, get more events to bring people together, get more events to help people see each other. I think we got in the world so scared to even talk to each other that we keep creating more ways for us to be on gaming apps. We got more ways for us to date in virtual reality, more ways for people not to see each other, more ways for people not to even want to improve. Because imagine this. Let's say you are out of shape, right? I apologize. I got hair in my mouth. Let's say you are out of, out of shape. You're a lot of different things. You're not what you want to be. Do you think this app is going to make you want to become more disciplined or less disciplined? Because girls are going to fall in love with you because they don't know what you really look like, right? They're going to fall in love with your talking, your personality. And then they finally come to meet you and you're 450 pounds. I'm just saying, this is not helping people improve. But if you get, if you give more incentives for people, people to go to social events, then people will start to improve their appearance. They won't dress in a dirty shirt every day. They won't wake up eating Cheetos puff in their mother's basin. I'm just saying, this kind of stuff makes a huge difference i don't like the roblox dating app i don't think it's a good concept it's but number one there's too many kids on there that's obviously and if we, even if i try to be nice and i say okay there will be adults on there that are gonna behave come on now it's not helping anybody improve you're just <laughs> it's a game for kids man I've seen Roblox. I've seen it played. I'm sure you can do some creative stuff in there, but to say it's mainly for adults so where they could date, what kind of people do you think are are dating in Roblox? What kind of people do you think are in there? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you're not going to be finding like CEOs and stuff like that in there. You're just not. Okay, you're just going to find people who don't really have a whole lot going on with them, enough to where they can sit down and play Roblox. I'm not saying everybody who does, because then there's people who make money off of YouTube. I get it. But that's very, very few. Okay, so let's talk about the majority. I don't think this is going to work out. I think it's dangerous for the kids, but I also think it's going to be dangerous for adults, too, who are talking to other adults. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Roblox dating. Crazy? Not crazy? Hmm.